first of all, it relates to uh, the two issues that have been very painful for eight players in the last three years. And I guess I'd like the candidates to give us some idea of when we'll have some closure on both those issues. First one is the waste net issue. Overwhelming number of uh, rate payers want that left the way it is, don't want it to go to the preferred tender. The second issue is the reopening of the museum. And people want, uh, that I contact with want to have the museum re strengthened and open where it is. So I'd like to hear what the candidates want to say on that. Uh, I, I understand that it's actually two separate structures uh, that you have an internal structure and then you have an external structure which holds up the roof. Uh, the roof's made out of poly panels and it's uh, apparently fire, a fire risk. Now what we need to do is, we need to actually do more consultation on this. I do believe that it would be good to get two, two or more separate opinions on what needs to be done with the building. The internal building may be able to be strengthened and the external building may be able to be fire driven from the inside. And I do believe um, because it's made out of poly panels which are the wrong way, the reason why they leak is because there's not enough overlap on the flashing. So I think we can wrap the whole thing. Uh, slam a really good uh, tin roof over the top, flash it really beautifully, and that can be waterproof once again. Um, what's the second question? South and Disability Enterprises. Oh. Your view around the waste net contract. Yes, I cannot, uh, cannot uh, claim to be able to solve that, but I think that there is a related issue, and that is that we're not really using um, the rubbish the best we can, and uh, that the South and Disability Enterprises people are amazing. I've been down there, I've taken students through with tours, it's incredible. But we need to actually stand back and think, are either of those companies at the moment set up to be able to make best use of our rubbish and be able to make it so that we don't end up with mountains and mountains of the stuff that doesn't get processed and with no one that's prepared to buy it. Um, so we're going to have to stop and just think um, over and over again, what is it that we really need to do with this rubbish and then try and build systems for it. Thank you, Steve. Who would like to respond?